Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Red EDC. Well, today we're going to be taking a look at the Alliance Design Anchovy. Ooh, it's another knife named after a fish. We all know I like fish. And apparently, Mr. Jamie Loves Knives from Instagram, well, he's also a follower here on YouTube, knows I like to fish, and I, I, I guess that's why... He sent me the anchovy, but he sent me the anchovy as a gift. So I was I was absolutely blown away when he sent me this knife. He sent me an email saying he was sending me something, but wow. <laughs> yeah, just wow. Now, the anchovy, like I said, Alliance Designs Knife. It is designed by Kevin Foster. If we look right there. Hashtag Foster SoCal Design. Then you have the Alliance Design logo there. Anchovy Full Titanium Construction. Titanium Backspacer. Titanium Pocket Clip. And then look at that pivot and those screws, man. That is just a really, really nice pop of blue on there. I just... It's subtle, yet it's not subtle, because that blue just jumps out at you, but it's gorgeous. Oh my goodness, it's gorgeous. Now you can see there you've got some a diagonal milling there on the titanium handle. Very, very well done. Everything is just nicely chamfered. Very, very well done. You have some milling on this side here. you got a, some milling in the titanium there. Kind of helps drop a little bit of weight. A little bit of milling there for the relief. The lock bar relief. Very, very well done. I was... I mean, you talk about blown away when this comes in the mail. Holy cow. I guess I should say holy smoke. So that's kind of my thing. <laughs> Blade centering is just right there. Boom. Yes, indeedy. Everything on this knife, on the, well, exterior, just the handle, everything is so well done. Very, very well done. It is right hand, tip up carry only. Um, if we can shed some light on there. There you go. You can kind of see the screws in there for the pocket clip. It is a flipper. You've got some jimping there on the flipper tab. Flipper tabs... I like the I like that flipper tab. It's just it's not I don't I wouldn't call it exactly low profile, but man, it's just just the right size to do the job and man snaps right out there. The action pretty darn good. And you get that initial drop, woohoo, look out. Then it shakes shut. And that thing just snaps out there. Beautiful, beautiful. Now, you got that nice drop point blade on it. RWL 34 on that blade. Satin finish. Nice swedge there across the spine. Oh, man. No jimping, but you do have a nice landing pad for your thumb there. Oh, that feels so good. Nice slender handle you guys know i kind of like the slender knives man that fits so well and the diagonal milling on there really provides for a really really nice nice grip get an excellent excellent grip on that titanium now up here titanium is a little slick it's not too bad but once you get it in that full grip yeah that milling really helps out Man, that feels good. I'm still just kind of taken aback by this knife, guys. I Wow. I am super, super appreciative to Jamie for sending it out. But let's see. What do we got here for specs? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, looky there. Really? Eight? A little over eight. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and a half. Eight and a half, fully open. Uh, well, maybe a little shorter than that. Mm, just about. Handle length. Handle length's just shy of five inches. We'll call it four and seven eighths for good measure. Then, of course, your blade length is going to be right about three and a half. And your cutting edge is going to be just shy of three and a half. Grip length. When I grip it, I grip it all the way up. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's where I find it the most comfortable. So we're going to say one, two, three. I mean, you can get back there. So four to four and a quarter on that grip length. You could get back there. Now your natural from point to point is going to be about three and a half. But just kind of handling it and checking it out. I believe you could get your pinky, you know, down there and it's really not going to, it's not going to cause any discomfort or anything like that. I don't believe. I mean, I obviously, that's that would not be my natural grip. But just kind of trying to see, you know, for larger hands. Yeah, I think it would be all right. Let's do some size comparisons. Well, the PM2 is probably going to be our closest comparison that we normally do. Uh, pivot, no, let's get pivot to pivot. Yeah, the anchovies got it by just a little bit. Probably overall, you're talking about pretty close to a half inch as far as lengthwise obviously the anchovy is a much slender knife now slender wise height wise we're probably more on par with the bug out but as you can see the anchovy is a much much bigger knife than the bug out is let's get a weight on it this thing carries really really nice man all right, we'll zero out there. We're starting ounces. Three and a half. Oh, man, yes. I mean, it is right. That is in. That is right there as far as the weight I like to EDC. Three and a half inch. Obviously, I like lighter knives as well. But three and a half, that gives me, it feels like I have something. But, and as far as the size of the knife, three and a half is pretty darn good. 100 grams right off 100 grams even but oh man over oh i gotta show you the carry i'm sorry guys but where did my where'd it go oh, i gotta grab a different one i'm, I'm i was hankless on the table pocket clip Pretty darn smooth in and out of pocket, to be honest with you. Now, definitely not deep carry. You do have a little bit of exposed, and you do have, you know, the natural titanium. It's a little bit more than, like, a black or a darker color in your jeans, but handle comes up to a point, so it's not too bad. Really good retention on that pocket clip, without question, but not too bad. Not bad retention, just good retention. Nice little pop when it comes out. You know it's going to hang on. But overall, man, yeah, you know, I am I am digging it. Feels very, very good in hand. Uh, nice. I like the size versus the weight. I mean, you're talking about an 8.5 inch knife. 3.5 inches as far as weight goes. That's That's pretty darn good to me. Now, what did we say our blade length was? About three and a half. So we're pretty much right there. Three and a half ounces, three and a half inch blade length. Ounce per inch of blade length. We're right there. I don't, I don't necessarily subscribe to that. I, if it's comfortable, it's comfortable. I don't care if it's, it has a two and a half inch blade and weighs three and a half ounces. If it's comfortable, it's comfortable. Golly, that just looks good. I love the way that blue shows up on that titanium. Just looks so, so nice. And like I said, uh, Jamie, uh, to you, I, I am honored that you sent this knife to me. It's a gorgeous, 
gorgeous, beautiful knife. These guys run for about $200 new, guys. So, I'm... Wow. Yeah, I'm pretty... Uh, I'm very, very happy and very thankful to add the anchovy to my collection without question. Blue liked it. You know Blue likes the blue. Um, solid knife. He gave it his solid 8.5 rating. I think that is very fair. Very fair rating for a very nice knife. Well, Jamie, I don't know how many times I can say thank you, but I'm going to say it one more time. Thank you very much, my friend. It's an absolutely gorgeous knife. Like I said, I'm honored to add it to my collection. I'm very honored that you would send it to me. So thank you. Thank you very much. And thank all of you for checking out the Alliance Knives Anchovy with me today. As always, like, subscribe, leave me that comment. You know I love talking to y'all. Till next time, I'll talk to y'all later, guys. Bye-bye.